Hello once again, TechGeek311 here with another app review and tutorial. Today we're going to cover 24Me. Alright, in today's app review and tutorial we're going to cover a productivity app called 24Me. I'm going to go in here into the info in the app store so you can get an idea of what this app does. As you can see here, it says here automatically generates task. They say magic. Um, you go here to the next one, you have beautiful gifts. This is something new that they just added where you can actually send gifts to people that you get reminded of of their birthdays. You also have advanced time managements. So you can set the, uh, the date, the time, uh, five minutes before, on time, whenever you want the alert to be done. You can also do pay bills. So in other words, this links to your financial sites, um, links to uh, bills that are coming in, things like that. Then you can also share the task with your friends. And if you notice they have that little bubble face in there, that's something new that they added as well. Down here in the description, you can see more about what this app can do. Gives you all the information in here that you can read. It's got a lot of stuff in this. This app really has a lot, lot in it. And then, of course, you can see that the last update was July 29th. So this is currently updated, uh, not too long ago. And they, of course, they tell you in here that you can now do reoccurring tasks. Contacts are now listed with their image. You can do gifts, shortcuts, enhanced birthday features, all those things. You can look down here in their version history. You can see all the versions they've updated came out back in October of 2012. You can look into the developer history and see that this is the only app that they currently run. And you can look at their privacy policy. This will pull you into the uh, to the web page, bring you into there, and you can see their privacy policy. So we'll go back out of here, get back in. Alright, so now we're going to get into the 24Me. And of course it starts off with this animation screen you get in there morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time of the day it is. Then it will go ahead and start auto-updating. So you get the uh, current day, you'll get whatever event you had that day. Of course, I don't have any uh, to-do set up. I only have a couple of birthdays set up. You can see next to the date, there's a little uh, cloud and sun. Gives you your current weather. And this I kind of like. The current weather is, uh, is a very neat little feature. And uh, that, that's pretty cool for this app. You notice on top you have an add new task line, you have a little camera, and you have voice. So you can set your tasks by voice, you can even set them through a picture, or you can simply just type them in. If you grab anywhere on the screen, you pull down, you're going to see now it brought up uh, two little tabs, a My Links and a Settings. I'm going to go back into here. Go into My Links first. Okay, this is what it can link up with. Right now, the only friends it can link up with is going to be Facebook. And that's about it. Um, I'm waiting for more to be linked as well. Then you have My Providers. This will link your providers to pay bills and get better plans. Your financials to get better control of your money. And errands, the only one so far is TaskRabbit. It's the only one it, it links up with at this point. If I go in here to My Providers, then it's going to pull me up a whole list. And these are basically your utility services, uh, things you use every day, and those kind of things. And you can even search for them as well. If I go into my financials, this is going to pull up all your banks, credit cards, those kind of informations. Uh, I don't currently use those. I do everything through my banking itself. So for me, it, it just wasn't uh, something that I needed to use. Now if I go in here into settings, now you're going to see the uh, different things you can do. You can group it by the label or by the time. You can also go in here to remove your task if you have any. You can send them feedback. You can tell them if there's a bug, if you have a suggestion, or you can rate them. And you can go in here to advanced, which this gives you your uh, first day of the week. You have any themes which are going to eventually come soon according to them. You have the welcome animation, you can have it on or off. You can set a passcode. You can set your sound effects. You have your app icon badge. 
which unfortunately that badge does not update after midnight on its own, but I have spoken with the developers. They said that that will be implemented in future updates. Icon badge, it, it does come. It's just that uh, it's going to be a little while until it gets there. You can set your default reminders. You can set your reminder sounds. Uh, you can set languages and then of course you have to sign in so you have to have an account So you'll you'll need to log out if you uh, don't want to use this app anymore All right, so going back in here All right, let's go ahead and set a, a creation go in here and do new task You can see it gives you plenty of choices to call text email errand or gift if you want to just set it uh, whatever it is you can just set your uh, task by just typing it in. You can set its priority. You can do a time, share, label, or notes. You can hit time, set your date, so you want today's date, tap on time, set whatever time you want, and you can also set its repeat. Hit done, and hit done, and your task will automatically show up. When you're done with this task, swipe your finger across, you get a little trash can. Hit the trash can and it jumps into your remove task. So you slide down here, go back to your settings, go to removed, and there it is. Hit clear and continue. Okay, and that's very easy to do. Then you can use your voice. This is a test task. Hit done and it gives you by voice. Then, like I said, you can also do a picture. So we're going to do a little picture here. Go to your camera icon and take your picture. You can say choose and you can say buy this. Hit done and done. And you're going to see it says now task from camera. You can tap on that. You can look at your notes and you can see your photo. There it is. And that's how you would create a task from your camera. You can swipe it when you're done and delete, go back into settings, go back into remove and clear. And there you go. So it's very easy. It's a very nice task. I like it. It uh it works very well. Uh, it's a it's a good to do app. And I recommend it once they implement more updates, especially the app badge refreshing over midnight and all that. But if you want something that you can really comprise everything into a to-do app, then this app would be a very good one to use. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you want to check out this app, hit that link below in the description. Uh, like this video. If you have any comments, send me comments. And I thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys later.